What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about mind test ABMs. Let's get started. Okay, so far we have talked about uh, we've talked about the basic map uh, uh, editor operation called set uh, mind test set node. We've been using that quite a bit and using it under different conditions. So some callbacks like punching a node would um, cause the maybe to build a cube or a timer would go off and then it would do something right. So it'd set a node. So we've been using set node quite a bit. And and today we're going to be using it in another way. And um, uh, underneath the topic of ABMs. Now, what does ABM stand for? It stands for Active Block Modifier. The idea is that <clears throat> when in, in previous lessons we've used mind test set node, and we've included it in a node definition. So we've defined node, we've written it in there, in which case when you interact with a node, it will then actually do the action. Active block modifiers are separate from nodes, and so they are not included in a node definition. They are they're by themselves in your code, which means you don't have to interact with anything in the world to for an ABM to run. All you have to do is walk through the world and the ABM will change the world around you based on whatever criteria that you set in your ABM or active block modifier. And then the most uh, applicable possibly, the most examples that I've seen uh, uh, where, they, where they describe the use of an ABM they use mind test set node, and and uh, but but that is certainly not the only way in which you can use an ABM. There's a lot, obviously. There's a lot of other mind test methods that you can implement in an ABM. But uh, for simplicity's sake, um, we're just going to go with what we know: mind test set node. So let's let's dive into it. Here we are on chapter eight of the mind test modding textbook. And we've gone through timers, which in which case we used set node to change the world based on a timer that went off, right? Uh, that was inside of a node definition, inside of a node definition. Now though, we are going to step out of the nodes like I've been talking about. So here's an example. Here we have a node definition. It's complete. It's done. You then you step out of the node definition, and this is how you know that the node definition is sandwiched between two parentheses. So it can be tricky to see the beginning and end parentheses sometimes. Hopefully your Notepad plus plus or your VS Code helps you kind of shrink stuff. You know, you can kind of collapse the different sections. But at any rate, uh, you need to figure out where the start and stop of your node is, get out of it, and then we're going to type mindtest.register underscore ABM. And then there's several different lines here that help define the uh, ABM. But the most important one is the, ac the action of the ABM. And this is where you could put whatever you wanted. Uh, but Today we're just going to be using mindtest.setNode uh, to, based on certain factors, change the world around us, right? So let's let's start writing. Okay, so it's uh, mindtest. Uh, no, I'm sorry, register underscore abm. No, no, no capitals. And then <clears throat> you're gonna open parentheses and go ahead and close parentheses. That way you don't forget that parentheses later on. This is the oh no space there. So that's the the method. And then what does the method need? Well, it actually needs a table. I, I, I repeat a table. We've dealt, dealt with tables quite a bit. 
And that is uh, the syntax for a table are curly braces. So there you go, you have basically the framework for your ABM. And we're gonna need a few different things uh, of which you can pretty well just copy. You can just copy most of this stuff from, from the textbook. We're not going to, and, and yeah, all of this stuff is applicable. We've got default dirt with grass. That's going to be in our game, water source and water flowing. Great. Let's not reinvent the wheel, right? So we've copied that from the textbook. It has these nice comments. Uh, I guess I should explain node names. It's looking for that node. If it does not find that node, it does nothing. There's a second qualification, if you will. If that node is next to water source, and I'm talking about like right next to, I think, pretty sure. Uh, either either one of the other, water source or water flowing. It can, it can be one or the other. Uh, it doesn't have to be both. It's just if default water grass is next to that. I think if you just leave neighbors out, then it will simply look for default dirt with grass. Uh, which is which is nice. Um, okay, so those are the nodes that it's looking for. Now, the interval, as you can see from the comment, basically it runs this ABM every ten seconds. So if if of course the less the the smaller the number, the more frequent the running. Uh, of course, the heavier the load on your computer. Of course, it's a small little script, so it's not going to be that bad. But if you have an extensive amount of code, it could be hard for your computer. So you want to keep that in mind. All right, so then next one is chance. Uh, and this is a little bit different to think about, but it represents the, the uh, well, as they see here, select every one in 50 nodes. Select every one in 50 nodes. So the lower the number here, the greater the chance that it will actually run, or that, that, the, that the ABM will actually edit the world. And this gives it some sort of uh, randomness or uh, organic property, right? Okay, so now on to the harder but the fun part, really. And that is the action. So we can go ahead and just copy this entire action and paste it in here. Before we actually execute this code, I want to point out a few things. So first of all, they do some, uh, they've, of course we have position. We're all familiar with position. That's really important. But then they also pass a node, active object count and active object count underscore wider. And I really don't know the purpose of these things because they're not actually used in this function. And quite honestly, I think that you can cut them out. And so I'm act I'm going to try that, but I'm going to test that first before I tell you to pull the trigger. Next thing, uh, they do something interesting with their position. Uh, you'll notice here when we use set node, we defined our table, our position table, if you will right here in curly braces. And we put all our X's and our Y's and Z's right in here, right? Well, what they did was they actually created a local variable position, POS, and set it equal to the whole table, making the this line of code cleaner, easier to look at. So that, that was kind of nice. And I thought, that's, that's neat. You might want to try it just to try out a different method but uh, you certainly don't have to. You can simply write that everything in between the everything between the curly braces and the curly braces right uh, here. You can just do it that way too. Last thing that you're gonna have to change is you're going to want to change alien glass to something else. And I would suggest do something fun like that you've written, you know, some other I don't know, my my mod underscore node or something. Uh, or you can use dirt. And there you have it. Um, wow. <laughs> so I changed up the code a little bit because I wanted, uh, 
I, I, I didn't have default dirt with grass around uh, water and I had sand, so I changed it to sand. As you can see here, uh, I, I just commented out the default dirt with grass and then I copied it down here and it just changed this up for sand because that was the environment that I had and I didn't want to have to go find default dirt with grass with water. So, and then um, I got rid of all the other stuff and it works just fine. Now, the other stuff is valuable for some reason. Just bear that in mind. And, uh, and voila, what do you know? I think it'll just keep running. I think it'll just keep running until this place is just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh goodness. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, it's still running. This is going to be a huge block of wood once this is done. <laughs> Anyways, it's just, it's just kind of fun. Yeah. Now, uh, the positioning you'll notice here, oops. You'll notice here that we have, um, um, you see this, this node right here, right there, right? It's on top of the sand. And why is it on the top of the sand? Well, if we look at the ABM, you'll notice that when they were messing with the position, the Y position, they added, they just did a plus one, which is fine, you know, in, in, if you want that. But I kind of would have rather it just replaced the sand, the actual like sand block. Uh, and that is the position that it is actually affecting is the, it finds this node, this specific node, and it factors in the chance and all that stuff every 10 seconds and whatnot. And then it replaces, it, it interacts with that position. So based off of that position, it will change the world. And, and in this case, we did a plus one on that. And so, um, let's get back to the game and yeah, so that's, this is, um, that's just what it did. And I suppose it'll just keep going until the entire lake is just gone. Um, the entire, all the sand next to the water is just gone the longer that you sit and wait, because it's based off of chance. So, uh, and, and sand goes down. But here's a, here's an un, unmessed with, well, semi-unmessed with lake, and let's just see. It's going to be fairly obvious when this starts to... Explode. Boom. Nice. So then we wait 10 seconds and then it'll do it again. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to add an ABM to your mod. Do something like this. Change it up a little bit, okay? I want to see something different. Don't just copy and paste from exactly what I did. Try to understand, like, how does the position work? Mess with the position, maybe. Or uh, mess with, like, what nodes you're adding. Change that up. Um, I want to see a little bit of creativity on your part, but for the most part, I just want to, the, the big, the big picture, the big, the big, uh, uh, assignment, whatever is I want to see an ABM in your mod. So those are ABMs guys. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you next time.